Guys, today I have for you something really spicy, completely new and the best way how to farm exotics in Division 2 Year 5. If you have never seen anything quite like this before, please don't hesitate, smash that like and sub. Welcome to the family, my beautiful bastard. And like I said at my Division 2 and the reset video, today is the day when you can farm Bighorn and your Eagle at DZ because Assault Rifles are dropping right now in the zone so take advantage of this farming method but before we get to it quick um, life hack for you guys if you want to farm effectively or I shall say efficiently your exotics or your wanted item simply die don't uh, kill every goddamn enemy we're gonna farm today supply drops because you can exploit supply drops basically get the, these supply drops in infinite amounts and by opening the cash slash loot box dz drop you will complete activity and you can rain, get uh, rewards and simply when you got rewards and you killed the boss die if you didn't found your wanted item or exotic to the checkpoint and simply fast travel to the nearest checkpoint to the next uh, um, supply drop it's simple as that guys but where the magic happens is actually really simple once you cleared all three DZ drops or I shall say you claimed all three DZ drops log out of your server you can die and fast travel to the checkpoint and do the same thing or you can do this in open world it will take 30 seconds in open world you don't have to do anything don't move don't shoot don't open your menu simply wait for 30 seconds at the checkpoint it will happen instantly and when you will be reloading back yourself to the map most likely you will be placed on another server and there you will gain access to another dz drops it's absolutely insane because you can get a ridiculous amount of loot but before we continue quick word from the sponsor being that net if you don't have enough time or good teammates but you still want to have all the best items in your game then leaving the net is set for you they have absolutely amazing team on consoles they will complete your order super quick everything happens to icon sharing this service has been working for many many years they have tons of customer reviews you can check everything by yourself but now with my promo code everybody you will have 15% discount on absolutely all services amazing deal especially when right now they have some crazy sales going on so definitely check these guys out and if you have any questions don't hesitate drop your comment down below in the comment section or contact the operator but now let's get back to this farming method and why we gonna farm of course uh, these uh, drops and uh, the reason is quite simple because most of the time you're gonna fight here two bosses two elite enemies who has high chance of really decent loot or exotic dropper so these enemies has high chance of exotic drop rate as you see two bosses boom loot all over the place next thing most of the time supply drops will be placed at the landmarks so it means not only you can open box or DZ drop box which will give you some rewards and most of the time ninja bike messenger knee pads as exotic reward but also you can open landmark um, uh, loot box don't worry if you don't have dark zone keys because you can steal it you will be rogue for 20 seconds like I'm showing you right now so basically you can open two loot boxes you have two bosses you have tons of possibilities to gain exotics and from those uh, loot boxes from landmark loot boxes you can actually get exotic components as well not uh, exotic weapons itself but components it's the small thing what you get by deconstructing your exotics so there is shit ton of possibilities to gain exotics and materials for your expertise system as well so and you have three dz drops most time when you will jump from the server to the server you will be alone i think you can easily get two dz drops if you will do this by foot easily you have seven eight minute window to clear all three by using fast travel method you're gonna clear all three dz drops in five 
a minute, but it means most likely you're gonna fight six bosses, so six separate possibilities to gain exotic uh, weapon, and you're gonna open six loot boxes, two DZ, drop boxes, and cash boxes or loot boxes from landmarks itself. It's absolutely amazing farming method and once that done simply log out of your game and log back into it and you will get shit ton of loot and once that done or when you found pestilence chameleon bighorn simply uh, do this uh, one more time to make sure that you are getting to the server which is kind of free or at least there is no manhunts no rogue activities to go for extraction and uh, if you're a new player and if you don't have a decent setup to fight in case if there will be some rogue agents i would recommend you to activate two um, uh, extraction points in that way you're gonna trick uh, pvp players most likely they have to separate if they will play, play in squads or they will waste time by checking two extractions one after another so that buys you a time for extract or just uh, watch situation because you can see manhunts on your map direction where they're going just be smart about that you can definitely get your exotics out of dz if you're gonna play smart yes you guys don't jump to the nearest because most likely that extraction was called by some experienced pvp players just to lure you in as a bite so don't fall for this trap definitely if you make sure if you're a solo player what is going around at that specific extraction don't stray to the middle to the chopper because you will never find your exotics anymore if you're gonna die there simply there will be simply not enough time for you to get back fight uh, those rogues and get back your exotics those exotics will simply leave with the chopper before you will be able to get there on time so definitely play smart if you don't have decent gear don't fight these wolves activate two of extractions and simply look of how the situation is developing from the distance i would recommend you to sit somewhere 20 theater meters from the extraction and that will give you some uh, breathing space if someone will get rogue definitely be safe guys out there rough times butcher drops the bike stay safe see you in the next one